What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing another top tweak video. Now in this video, we're gonna be doing all free tweaks because Cydia doesn't allow purchases just yet. So I figured this video wouldn't be all that much fun if you guys couldn't download any of the tweaks. So again, all these are gonna be free so you don't have to open up your wallet, of course, to try these out for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we have in store. All right, so first up, we have a brand new tweak called Breadcrumbs Away. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with iOS 9, there's a new feature that basically allows you to go back to the previous application that you were just in. So for instance, I'm in the App Store, and then if I open up Safari here just by tapping on this, you'll see that I have the option to go back to the App Store. Now, this is option right here is actually called Breadcrumbs. So if we wanna go back to the App Store, then we can just tap on that. Now, it's obviously a very useful feature and we can use it sometimes, but there are times that we just don't need it. And that would be when Breadcrumbs Away comes into play. So again, if we go ahead and open up the developer website right here, and we don't want this option here anymore, we can literally just swipe it away and then in comes our Wi-Fi signal and carrier logo. So that's really all this tweak does. It basically allows you to get rid of that option to go back to the previous app. Now, as a quick side note here, the theme that I'm using is called Flat Six. So if you want to check that out, then you can do so. It's a free theme. And if you want the wallpaper, just follow me on Twitter, and I'll be sure to tweet that out when this video goes live. Next up, we have another brand new tweak called Universal Force. Now, what this does is bring peak and pop to older devices. So you can see right here that I'm actually using my iPhone 6 Plus. This is not a 6S Plus, and it's not a 6S. And you'll see that we can get peak and pop using universal force. So all we have to do is just kind of force touch right here and you'll get the little peak. And you can actually swipe up here if you want to copy, share, favorite, delete. You can do whatever you want to here or just swipe it down. And it's going to go into full screen mode. You also can kind of like swipe it to the left a little bit. You just your finger kind of gradually move over and it's going to peak and then pop into play right there. And this is obviously gonna take place not only on photo folders, but you can do this uh, in your mail as well. So for instance, if we wanted to open this up, you can see that we get a peak and then a pop, it just kind of pops into play right there. So a pretty cool tweak. Now, if you're having trouble finding any of these tweaks, just be sure to check the description. I'll put a link in the description below for all the links and sources. Now, you probably also noticed that I have five icons across right here, and that's due to better five column home screen. Now, again, you'll have to add a repo for this, but I'll put it in the description below. And I also have a tweak installed called better five icon doc. So I only have four down here right now, but if I get into wiggle mode and I start to bring this down, you'll notice that I can put five icons right down there in the dock right there. Next, we have an oldie but a goodie and it's called Flux. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Flux, basically what it does is turn your entire screen an orange tint color. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and tap on preview, that it turns my entire screen orange. And what that does is basically make it a whole lot less strenuous on your eyes, especially at night. I mean, when you, you know, you roll over from bed, you turn on your phone and it's just blaring in your face with that bright light. And you can see you can change this during daytime as well. So we can just get out of this and you can see that it's going to stay that orange tint throughout your entire device. So a really cool tweak and definitely worth checking out. Now you will have to add a repo for this one as well. So just be sure to check the description. Next, you guys have probably already noticed, but every time I launch an application, I am getting this nice little blur effect and that's due to a tweak called blurry launch. So you can see when I swipe down here, we actually have uh, multiple colors that we can choose from. You just make sure that you enable it right here. You can change the blur theme, the strength and the duration right here. So right now I'm just using vermilion, but we can change this to dusty, and it takes effect immediately. So when I open up an application, you can see what that kind of does. It's just kind of a gray color. Midnight, let's see what that one does. I think that's more of a purple color. Yeah, purple and blue. Again, let's just try the vibrant green and see what that looks like. So it looks pretty cool. Now, if we go into the settings here and we wanted to change this up anymore, we can change the blur strength. We can change it to strong. And let's just change the blur duration to a long time, which you probably don't want to do just because it's going to take a while to open up applications. But you can see here, yeah, that's way too long. But we can put it down here. We can change the strength to low, just kind of make it a little more subtle, which I think it looks a whole lot better. Another beloved tweak that works with iOS 9 is CC settings. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, you're in for a treat because this is going to give you a ton of different toggles that you can use within your control center. So you can see that I actually have another toggle right here, but if I swipe across, we have a ton more as we swipe and swipe and swipe. So you can obviously set this all up within your settings. So if we go out here and we go into uh, CC settings 
and tap on that. You can see you, you can change how many you have per line. You have toggles for dismissing the control center as well as killing the music as well as whitelist. So this is basically going to come into play when you uh, kill all your applications. Now right down here you have all your include and then right down here you have do not include. So if you wanna hide some of these and you don't want them in your control center then you can obviously just take the little grabber and swipe that down so you don't accidentally shut down your device for whatever reason. But CC settings is another really cool tweak. I definitely recommend checking this out if you haven't already. Now, if you're into using folders, then I definitely recommend checking out better 4x4 folders. And you can see right here that if I go ahead and open this up, that basically what it does is give you a 4x4 layout. So I just think it looks a whole lot better than the stock layout. Now, one thing I will recommend doing is hiding the icon labels. So the way that you can do this is just download a tweak called Hide Me 8 Lite and then go to your springboard and then hide all icon labels. Otherwise, all the labels for these icons are kind of going to overlap just because they're kind of scrunched together. But I think it looks a whole lot cleaner without icon labels anyways, as you can see right here on my springboard. But really, it's just a matter of preference. Next, you'll notice my badges right here. And this is actually due to a tweak called blurry badges. So what it does is it takes the color or the dominant color of that application and then uses that as the notification color. And it also blurs it out, as you can see right there. Now, there are some settings that you can do right here as we go through... Uh, the blurry badge settings, tap on that. You can see you can change the border. You can either turn it off completely. You can have a huge border. You can obviously just go through these. You also have a border color, so you can do white, black, random, uh, lighter or darker, and then you have the badge tint alpha. So if we go ahead and swipe all this all the way over, we can go back here and you can see that it basically just doesn't even blur it out really. It just takes all that opacity away and pretty much is a solid color. And last but not least, we have a new tweak called Reveal in C9. So you'll see right here as I swipe down that it's going to reveal the notification center just like it does in Android, which I think just looks pretty dope right there. So if you want to check that out, you can definitely do so. This one just hit Cydia like 10 minutes ago, I think. So you definitely need to check all these out if they spike your interest. All right, guys, more tweak compilation videos coming up. Also, if you guys want to have an influence on what the next video is, be sure to follow me on Twitter just because I've been asking you guys a lot what you want to see and do you want to see single tweak videos, compilation videos, you know, all that good stuff. So be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to be a part of that. Now down in the comment section, be sure to tell me what your favorite tweak that is working with iOS 9 is. Just because, you know, I want to help you guys find tweaks and of course I want to find tweaks as well. So if you guys know any tweaks that work really well with iOS 9 and it's just one you definitely need to have on your device, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I look forward to checking those out. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know by smacking that like button as hard as possible. Of course, if you want to see more of my videos, be sure you're subscribed. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.